and welcome back, my friends. All right, so basically what we were covering last time was you guys were wondering, and I was too, how bad of a situation we're in because of this. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way, because even if you aren't interested in my channel to come back every single day, it still helps me. So what we're going to be having to do here is once... I think all of our divisions are available and a lot of them get to the front line which is back here right now we're going to try to push into here again and because we have enough guns we're just going to basically mass assault which is what a couple people talked about and hopefully by making this area smaller the AI is not going to try to flood so much in the south if it has more troops in the north so I don't know if that's gonna work but we're gonna see uh, also, let's go ahead and, well, actually there is no also, let's go ahead and get this back on the go. Alright, so attack, start spam attacking because, again, we have rifles, thankfully. Like, seriously, thankfully, the Soviets have helped us a lot with guns. So if we just continue aggressively attacking, which, actually, it might work. How's the Soviets holding? Ah, not great. It looks like an actual... Okay. Okay, the whole Japan demands French Indochina is kind of late game, but but thanks. I, I really appreciate you bringing it up, but thanks. Kind of late. Alright. Let's do this. I think we might be able to actually encircle, or at least break that whole thing from earlier. And maybe... Oh, come on, yes. This is going so well. Finish that. Come on. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. The aggressive attacks are working. Somewhat. Come on. Alright, we're going to go over here. Cut them off there. We're going to have half of our divisions go there. The other half attack here. To hold them in place. Our divisions should start reinforcing the front line behind this guy, who's currently moving here. And we're going to try to take that port again. And I do not know why they quit doing that. But really, just we just need to break this somewhere on this front. Just anywhere. Oh, they, they moved a troop at the last second is what they're doing. Okay. Okay. Okay, and it looks like we have this cut off, thankfully. You can attack there to increase the combat width. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Yes! The port is undefended. You can go there. And now we just have to worry about Queen Dao, I think. And we'll attack there because the AI might for some reason somehow be able to build a port or something I don't know oh, oh. <clears throat> alright no 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 you are force attacking I don't care you are getting in there you are of course of course the AI starts flooding it as soon as I'm about to take it I feel like I feel like there's a telep uh, teleportation thing sometimes the AI will do where if it's close enough to a battle, like if a port is there or something, that the divisions are just, they're able to somehow just appear there. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it happens to me so very often, and the AI is not smart enough to know like several days before a battle's gonna end to usually send stuff. It just kind of makes me wonder if the AI really is cheating like that much. All right, let's do this then. Cancel that. All of you guys go there. All right, and you guys are gonna go here, and you guys are gonna get reassigned with him to here. All right, and they're going to hold, and then we're gonna finish this encirclement off on normal battle plans, and then you are going to just regular attack. All right. And none of these guys are on aggressive now. Good. Okay. Hey, the Soviets are still sending me guns. Oh, another 140 rifles. Nice. Okay. So. 
How many guns? Like 18,000. Yes. Okay. I'm going to deploy a bunch of troops. And actually, we're going to start deploying the 20 wits. Oh, we were so close. All right. Let's go ahead and cancel this lend lease and see if the Soviet AI is going to be willing to send us more rifles. Will you send us? Nope. I think the AI might actually be out. All right. We're just going to have 12. And of course, we're going to rename it to 20 wits, obviously. So, uh, oh, we got the port. Good. All right. And 20 for right now. Okay. Now, these guys are going to go. Oh, boy. All right. So, it looks like the AI is starting to lose up there. And it looks like troops have moved into here. To actually counter the AI so bad for us and it looks like these are all requests from allied countries so we'll go and accept all those non-aggression packs and things which might come into play later and you probably could attack right now yes you can good with a lot of penalties bad force attack maybe so they're gonna kill us off or uh, work very well Oh, now they're getting penalties for being... Okay, now they're being... Okay, now they get penalties for consequence. <laughs> uh, it's funny how Mao has just been sitting up here this whole time. Just like, when do I get to fight? When, when do I get to do something? Like, anything at all? Alright, what's... Uh, max entrenchment, reinforce rate, and that's good for him. Oh my god. They've pulled off a large amount of troops. Okay. Okay, this, I don't know what the AI is doing, but aggressively attack, get in there, attack the entire front. I don't know if they're all going over here to Vietnam or what, but everything. Break through now. And we cannot deploy these guys yet. Aw, poor Mongolia. Come on, give me anything, any kind of guns, do it. Oh, we have a stockpile of 14,000. Oh. Oh, we're gaining about 200 rifles a day. Yeah, 194. Nice. Okay, good. So I'm thinking, what else just requires steel? The Great War tanks. Those are pretty bad. We 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 do not need to be building Great War tanks. We really should just be building rifles. And I guess we'll throw. Oh wait, we still have not researched support equipment yet. Tungsten, though. Later on, we're going to need... Uh, oh, wait. I can just cancel that. Oh, encirclement. Get him. Okay. And it looks like they have not been able to take the Philippines yet, so that's good for us. And it looks like the... Yep, the Chinese... Yep, China pulled a bunch of divisions off and started going down there, which is why I assume the AI pulled a bunch of troops away from the north or this front in general because the AI was thinking it was less guarded so the AI would basically pull away a lot of the troops it had set up and I'm not going to let these areas get naval invaded again so we are going to be the ones to garrison the ports which is really just three so that should not be an issue all right good now, the whole reason we're doing that is because otherwise, I feel as though the AI is going to get naval invaded again, badly. And I don't want them to <laughs> British troops are now fighting the Japanese in China, I guess. That's nice. Okay. It looks like our infinite charges are actually working in the north. Okay, you guys deploy. And you can have four guys go to him. And then eight divisions here. Okay, and you guys are going to be assigned to Hung Jin. <laughs> okay. And deploy. And now we have 20 wits. Awesome. Alright, so. This is probably going to work. Or at least if anything push them back because it looks like a lot of their troops are in the south I think so if we can push over this river or maybe even this river 
then we should be able to hold them. Now, what's about... Actually, we're still gaining rifles. I mean, we're losing a lot, but with these charges, we're not losing too many to the point where we're in a massive deficit. We're still on average gaining about 20 a day, so that's really good for us. Um, now, I guess we can do People's Volunteer Army and then the last focus tree down here. Okay, and Breakthrough. Go to Shanxi. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh. Wait. Wait. Come on, man. Get, get right there. You can do that. The AI sometimes does the stupidest things. And it, it's like not stupid as in... Man, that, that, I, you... You know, I'll just say it. The AI does some of the stupidest things. Sometimes they're just plain idiotic. <laughs> Like, uh, if you let him battle plan, if you're not watching it too carefully. Aw, Sing King has also canceled their lend -lease. Okay. That's fine. I understand. Okay. How many guns have we still got? 15,000? Yep. We're still gaining. Very tiny amounts, but we're still gaining. Okay. And I guess next what we'll do is research infantry equipment. Come on. Get in there. Oh, no. Reinforce there. Reinforce. Come on. Reinforce and help push to Shanghai. What? Oh, Qingdao is a completely separate city. Somehow, I guess. Uh, okay. Alright, and they're starting to push to Vietnam a little bit. They're starting to push through the north again against the 8i. And I can't tell if they're pushing in the south. How's the Soviets doing? Oh! Well, they're at the Stalin line here, so that's not good. Wait, did they? No, that. Oh, they did break past the Stalin line. Oh, Soviets probably did. Okay. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, do this for later. Let's go ahead and send attach. Oh, my chair. Sorry. Let's go ahead and send attache so we can see what they're doing. Okay. Uh, not sure what tanks the Germans are using or have or whatever. Uh, no, forget you. Um, wait, what, what is, I don't know what these templates are the Soviets are using, but, uh, looks like they're getting steamrolled by the Germans. Like a lot, like a lot, a lot. So, oh, <laughs> America has taken Okinawa. <laughs> All right, good. Wait, maybe I can request guns from them. Maybe maybe the Japanese Navy won't be an issue. Possibly, maybe. Uh, guns. Nope, they will not accept. What is there? What am I lacking in? Nope. They they won't even send me any of their massive stockpile of how much oil per day. Uh, how is the AI making forty eight oil a day as the United States? Is it sending it all abroad? Or... I... Okay, that makes no sense. How the... Oh. Oh, okay, America. You'll you'll support regular China with a bunch of guns. But not me. Hmm. Oh, wait. How much was... <laughs> okay, so they don't have enough convoys. And they're losing some stuff. Ooh. Okay. Hey, more guns. Nice. Oh... <laughs> Oh, we pushed. We pushed big time. We really pushed them. As in, we might finish this whole pocket for China, basically. <clears throat> Let's go and get support equipment, because uh, I feel as though soon we'll be able to start doing stuff with support equipment. Let's go and uh, bump this back down some to just that. And we'll just have one factory for civilian stuff. Yeah. Actually, how, how bad is... Oh, we have four. Oh, okay. Okay, that's nice. So... And then once Japan is taken out, then I can go to war with China. And probably win, I would... Oh my god, the manpower. But... We could probably do some of the stuff to sabotage. You know what? Yeah. As soon as we finish this pocket, I'm going to start sabotaging. 
because they are not good at all. The, the AI has made so many mistakes that, no, it's, I, I do not want to help it anymore. And I guess we'll throw five guys with our garrisons there. And we'll throw a couple over there. There we go. Centralized fire control. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the next upgrade. Because we're getting a lot of XP from the Soviets. Oh. And the Americans are getting pushed off of Okinawa. I feel like I should be concerned about that. But, uh... Hmm. Okay. Don't know. Don't, uh... Don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, yep. See, this is what I was talking about. Look, the AI has basically pulled their troops off of all of their ports. And it happens all the time. Usually when they start justifying or... Hmm. Oh, wait, that's us. <laughs> I thought they were just fine on us or had a wurgle. Um, anyway, it just really gets annoying because, obviously, when the AI pulls troops off of their territory, it can end you very, very quickly and very, very easily. And I guess I'm going to have to guard the ports for the entire Chinese faction now, for the entire coast. That's going to be 24 divisions, okay, so what's, uh... Take some of these guys, and do that. Yeah, that, that should be enough. Okay, now... Oh, wait, higher Soviet desire, joint tank development... Uh, elite mountaineers, heavy weapon... Oh, I forgot about this stuff. Wait. So does this... Oh, uh, nope, I have to have this one, too. Okay, so this will really just let me get an upgrade for your special forces, mountaineers, which I'll save for later, and then an artillery upgrade. Okay, okay, that, that makes a bit more sense. Is there anything else I can do in this focus tree, though, that would be kind of fun? More supporter stability, more supporter stability. Hmm. I guess... Hmm. See, I have to think here, because hmm, I think Imperial Legacy would probably be better because of that stability, right? Is that the, yeah. As long as we are incredibly high with our stability, then we're pretty good on a lot of stuff. And honestly, I think it's about time because we have such a high stockpile of guns for us to go to free trade because see here's the reason i didn't want to do it earlier people were talking for several episodes they kept saying why aren't you going free trade why aren't you going free trade here's why when you go free trade it affects the resources you're already getting but also stuff that you trade and we can only get 24 uh resource wise of uh you know whatever see even though we're trading 16 it's basically taking hours away so we're getting 29, so that would cover everything. But because we're trading it, it still takes it away. So we would get another 16, so really it should be down to just 16. Wait, no. Eh, you get the idea. But see, when we do that, it changes it. But it doesn't really... It's complicated. It's not a great idea to do it because... See, we just went to free trade, so we have the bonus for output, which is nice. But now we had to trade away all of our civilian factories to keep most of our steel coming in. And it really didn't make too big of a difference. See, kind of catch my drift why I wasn't wanting to do it earlier. But that's the reason why. <laughs> British Raj is basically saying uh, a few <laughs> with that right there, what they just offered. Um, yeah, okay. So it looks like we've taken care of this. And the Japanese are going to be stuck. And they're not going to be able to push anywhere. Because this front line here is so tiny. They're not going to be able to do anything. And now they have to fight a war against the United States. They're taking the Somalian Islands. Or not Somalian. They <laughs> Solomon. Oh my god. I'm too tired for this. Okay, well, they've taken the Somalian Islands. Alright. Um, but at least we're about to finish up this up here and I feel like that's gonna break them largely 
Then maybe we can push north into Korea, actually. And is this helping? Because I, isn't it? Yeah, the construction speed and all that stuff, but we have no factories to actually construct anything. So I'm thinking it might be worth it just to go back. Let's see. All right, right now, uh, 118, 161. Hold on. Yeah, no, it's like seven guns difference if I stayed on free trade, but this way I actually can get um, two of my factories back, which is why I'm going to stick with it. So, even though I don't get the construction bonuses, the bonuses from having two extra civilian factories compared to having just a 15% bonus for building is way better. So I'm just going to do that. Especially because our guns were starting to go low too. So, yeah. Alright. And we're still guarding a lot of our ports. Okay, that's good. So, how many do they need in total? 19? Oh, just 19. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. Mm. Let's actually take some more of our divisions here then. Because I just want to make sure these ports are all guarded up enough that they're not going to be able to, uh, you know, naval invade again. Because if we can push them off of here, we can... I think they would just be defeated. I mean, they just wouldn't be able to do anything. Because if as long as we control the ports, there's no possible way they're going to be able to do anything whatsoever for our uh, fights. Like, they can't naval invade, so they can't break up the Chinese troops, and the entire Chinese army will be centered in two spots then if we do that. And I'll move that guy there. And I'll move this guy here. And I'll tell these guys to attack here. Yeah. Okay, and go there. And I think the... Uh, uh-oh. Oh, boy. That ain't good. Now, the question is, are they going to be willing to join the war? Because if they do, goodbye, allied rubber. How's the so? Oh, the Soviets held them. Soviets have sort of stopped them, but they're running on guns. Soviets, would you be willing to send me some rifle? Oh, okay, I get it. Oh wait, we're making for. Okay, yep, that's right. See, previously in Hearts of Iron, this number here would be associated with the amount of guns that that country is lacking or whatever, and I'm used to that number, meaning that I didn't recognize for. A while recently that this is now showing what your guns are so I guess if you have a negative number they'll they'll be willing to send you stuff if you're at war with an enemy or somebody they don't like <laughs> all right which is my bad so sorry sorry about that all right yeah they, they can't push out of Vietnam Siam joined their faction but they won't join the war and we're still pushing them out Okay, good, good, come on, keep going, we just need that port, if we can get that port, that'll be it for them, probably, largely, I would think. Ooh, we have a free civilian factory, okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's just start building civs. I mean, it's gonna take a long time, but it'll be worth it, and I guess we'll start doing that. And then once the war's over, we can maybe take some territory from them. I don't know. Kind of depends on how we're feeling. But I think Mao's army could probably... You know what? I'm thinking of pushing. I'm thinking of trying to push with Mao's units. The only problem is how entrenched these guys are. Yeah, they, they are pretty entrenched. And they have uh, 40 wits or something very close. So that's not going to be a great idea. Oh, th <laughs> sorry, Japan, but it looks like you've been uh, pretty wrecked right now. Oh, they're naval invading beside ports. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Come on. You may have been training for this. Come on, get in there. Finish him. Finish that Japanese troop. Do not let them get there.
Oh, I forgot about Hong Kong because that's... Uh, no, it's not. That, they're not... Wait, is Japan not at war with... No, they are, but... Oh, I would need military access. Yes. I will gladly defend Hong Kong for you. Just let me in there with these Chinese troops for just, just, just a little while, my man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, these three divisions, I guess we'll throw them in with him, who's a really good general. And these guys, once we finish this pocket, I'm just going to deploy all of our five wits, or sorry, ten wits. They're all going to exclusively go to uh, guarding the coast. And then we're going to use our 40 width infantry divisions to actually push into northern China. And all that's what we're going to do. And it looks like that pocket. Oh, they actually do have a penalty right now. Okay, good. Maybe it's got something to do... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what would the reasoning be that sometimes they have the penalty and sometimes they don't. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, and then once we go into China, or whatever. Oh, wait a minute. We can start doing those decisions because China is already pretty weak. All right. Ooh, wait a minute. How many, how many factories are there? Hmm. 33 mils, huh? Ooh. It'd be a shame if, uh, say you started having some issues, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah. All right. And I'm going to be honest. I was kind of expecting to do a lot of them at the same time. Oh, oh, what's the matter, Japan AI? Were you expecting to uh, come in here and say hello? Aw, poor thing. Oh, well, it looks like you're being, uh, yeah, yeah. Looks like you ain't getting in here today. <laughs> poor guy. All right. Now, let's deploy all of our 20 wits to garrison duty. <laughs> I said duty. <laughs> all right. Uh, and I guess actually we'll, let's swap some of these guys back over to the 20 widths because we only need 16. So actually let's take a few more. Yeah. All right. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to move these guys to the North and they are going to try to push into Japan or well Japanese territory we'll say and because I have so many of them it might actually work yeah all right what's our gun situation because I swapped a lot of people over ah we're in a deficit of 200 okay it's not too bad because we're gaining a good amount of day yeah that's like one day worth oh wait while I still have the penalty of 188 rifles let's see if the Soviets would be willing to accept Nope. Never mind. Okay, they're already sending me one. They are not. Hey, China, could you could you send me some... Oh, okay, fine. Forget you. Uh, what about you, sir? Would you be willing to send me some rifle... Okay. All my allies hate me. Okay. Chinese power struggle, huh? Hmm. Okay. Oh, I need... More political points than China. Huh. I wish it would tell me how many they have. Wait a minute. I could just annex them? Possibly? Hmm. So I can just sit here and just gain political power points then. Okay. I wish it would tell me how many they've actually got. Oh, well. So, everything's guarded. Everything's set up good. Now... Ah, and it appears as though we're very close to our 30 minutes where we end the episodes. Oh, hey, Japan. Nice to see you, buddy. Too bad you're not able to invade. Anyway, uh, since we're about 30 minutes in, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And tell me if you guys have any more suggestions of something we should do before the, you know, United States to oh the Japanese are fighting in the Philippines. I think they're losing. Are they losing? Yeah, they lost it. Anyway, again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel out tremendously, more than you can imagine if you're new. Thank you for watching. Leave any suggestions down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome.